Hello, my name is Brent Knudsen, and I have set up this short edX course to introduce a customized Moodle plugin I created, the Participation Forum Blended Learning Discussion Activity. When I started using the Moodle LMS in 2005, I found assignments easy to use and quizzes to be very effective, although a tedious activity to set up. As I moved towards a more student-centered, active learning teaching approach, I started to explore the use of discussion forums. This blended learning activity seemed to offer the best affordances for the social construction of knowledge, but my early attempts to incorporate it into my teaching were not very successful. Other instructors told me that they too had found it difficult to get students to engage in online discussion forums. In 2007, I did an action research study of discussion forum use in my teaching and tried a lot of different methods. I found that if I graded the student posts, almost all the students would treat it as a public assignment where they would post once with a long, complex answer and then wait to be graded. Students never replied to each other, so there was no transactive exchange of ideas or perspectives. In addition, grading the student posts took a lot of my time, so it wasn't sustainable as a regular formative assessment activity. And the grading seemed to distort the student activity. The students only posted what they thought I wanted to see instead of what they really were thinking. They certainly wouldn't express any doubts about their understanding in this highly judgmental learning environment. Conversely, if I made the activity optional, no points available, then only a few of the A students bothered to post, and again there wasn't enough activity for the social construction of knowledge through peer exchange of ideas. After trying many learning designs for a blended learning discussion, I found that to create an effective activity which produced lots of peer-to-peer -peer interactions, four conditions needed to exist. One, the social formation of small groups. Two, class time to initiate online discussions. Three, setting open-ended topic questions. And four, a task structure and assessment system that reinforces production and peer interaction. Over time, I developed a discussion forum task structure to guide the student activity. Their first post answered my topic questions about the course content. Then they exchanged question and answer responses in a series of posts over several days or a week. And finally, they finished the activity with a reflected post about their learning. I tried training the students to peer grade their groupmates' contributions to the discussion using a rubric, but this took a lot of time to set up and monitor. Sometimes students would back scratch by giving each other high grades, or resort to revenge grading by giving each other low grades. Finally, I hit upon the idea of a very simple method of peer grading. Students would rate the first post with six points out of 10 possible, and then give tens for every post after that. When Moodle averages these forum grades, it resulted in a curve that quickly rose for the first four posts and then slowly continued to rise towards a full mark as the discussion continued. No evaluation of content, just a simple quantitative grading method based on participation levels. When I implemented this grading method, suddenly the level of student activity in the discussion forum soared. The average number of posts per student jumped up to 10 and there was a very gratifying exchange of ideas within their small groups and even between groups. While the results were good using this method, I still had to train the students and monitor their grading activity. In 2010, I decided to create a custom Moodle plugin to automate what I was now calling the Participation for methodology. I hired an undergraduate computer science student named Thomas Lextrait and together we developed a new type of discussion forum as a blended learning activity. The participation forum module is a customized forum designed to engage students in a collaborative online discussion as a formative learning activity. It creates a required activity worth up to 10 points, which the students can earn by participating in the discussion. The participation forum has three key features. First, 
The Add a New Group Post button creates semi-private areas for discussions by small groups of students. Size 3 to 8 is recommended. I like size 5. 2. Below the forum topic questions, it gives a link to detailed task instructions which describe the types of posts expected. For example, a group post, followed by the first post by each student, questions, and then answers, and finally, a reflective post. Three, it automatically generates a rating of participation based on the level of activity by each student and stores it in the course gradebook. Take a look at this graph of the ratings automatically produced by the participation forum as students contribute posts to the forum discussion. If a student fails to respond to the topic questions, they get a zero for the activity, and no one wants a zero. When they put up their first post to answer the topic questions, they are immediately rewarded with six points out of ten possible. When they post their first question to a groupmate, their forum activity grade rises to an eight. Their post of an answer then raises their grade to an 8.67, and another question or answer post raises their grade to nine points out of ten. In my experience, after putting up three or four posts in a forum discussion, most students become socially engaged, and their motivation to participate becomes mostly intrinsic. As students continue to post Q&A over the rating period, their grade slowly rises higher and higher. I always encourage my students to create reflective posts near the end of the rating period, and this can be motivated by harvesting these posts to a summative assessment activity, such as a learning portfolio. As always, it is up to the instructor to ensure the quality of the learning activity. Writing good, open-ended topic questions takes craft and experience, and the art of forum moderation and instructor feedback must adapt to the student needs as they change throughout the course. I hope you find the Participation Forum plugin helpful to support your teaching. It is designed as a sustainable formative assessment learning activity which affords a high volume of transactive student interactions and an excellent opportunity for the social construction of knowledge.